Hello, my name is Flavia. I'm a professor at School of Pharmaceutical Sciences of Federal University of Alfenas, Unifal, Brazil. In this video, I'm going to present to you our research group on drug delivery systems and nanomedicines. The research line on drug delivery systems and nanomedicines belongs to the group on development and evaluation of medicines, which also has other line that studies quality control of medicines. The staff involved is me, Professor Flavia, Professor Gislaine, Professor Rudi, and Professor Magali, who is the current Vice Dean of our University. The research group Development and Evaluation of Drugs and Medicines works with methodologies for drug analysis and drug delivery systems. The laboratory of drug delivery systems starts its activities in 2012 and shows important results such as publications in major pharmaceutical journals. Our group has some research projects financially supported by the main Brazilian research foundations agencies, such as Ministry of Sciences and Technology, Ministry of Education, and the Minas Gerais State Research Foundation. <music> The projects that have been undertaken by the Laboratory of Research on Drug Delivery Systems and Nanomedicines involve the development of technological platforms to obtain tyrosine nanoparticles, polymeric nanoparticles, solid lipid nanoparticles, smart hydrogels, surfactants, based systems, and molecularly imprinted microparticles. We explore various routes of administration such as oral, transdermal, mucosal, interarticular, etc. Always aiming the improvement of the therapy of diseases such as cancer, autoimmune diseases, anti-inflammatory diseases and central nervous system disease. Our work labor is represented by undergraduate students and postgraduate students of pharmaceutical sciences. In my research, we were developing cheetos and nanoparticles for incorporation of methotrexate. We were investigating the capacity of the nanoparticles in inhibiting the PGP membrane protein and reduce the effects of the drugs. We are studying this effect in use of flow cytometry and the confocal microscopy. I have been developing thermosensitive hydrogels for controlled release of drugs administrated by interarticular injection and also the conjugation of tyrosine with sugars that are specifically reconciled by immunological cells in case of autoimmune disease, for example, rheumatoid arthritis. My research project is about ketosine-based nanoparticles for mesalazine encapsulation. Xalazine, also known as 5-amino salicylic acid, is the first line drug used in the treatment of inflammatory diseases. Its limited solubility and pH range are critical factors that can result in flocculation and precipitation. My research project aims testing some different techniques of ketosine-based nanoparticles production to increase drug stability. Estamos testando diferentes tensioactivos e componentes graxos 
resultando numa estrutura semelhante à da pele, como as bicamadas lipídicas, para maior penetração do ativo. Essas formulações serão testadas em modelo animal para tratamento da psoríase, em que o maior problema é a alta desidratação e queratinização da pele, dificultando o transporte de ativos. Lipid solid nanoparticles have been investigated to enhance percutaneous absorption of drugs. I have been developing these carriers for transdermal delivery of donapezil using a hot microemulsion technique. My work is the in vitro skin permeation study of donapezil starting from lipid solid nanoparticles. This study is carried out using diffusion cell and piggy skin as a model of animal membrane. We work with radiological and texture analysis of stem solid systems. This is the texture analyzer where it can measure the hardness, adhesivity and serendipity of samples. It is important to select biodegradable and injectable symbols. I work with falling liquid film method for determination of mucosidium in nanoparticles. Our main goal is to make possible the knowledge produced on the bench reach the society and make our discoveries useful to clinical practice. Besides all those projects in progress in our group, we have been doing a big effort to rise our collaborations and expand our pipeline. Nosso laboratório né, de análise de, de cartação de fármacos. A gente tem a parte de HPLC, isso aqui é um PLC para detonação por via úmida. A gente tem um ultravioleta, tem um infravermelho e infravermelho. Tem a parte de análise térmica do outro lado. A gente faz análise de, de material sólido, né, análise de, de, de cartas de selicromorfismo faz análise térmica, faz estudos de estabilidade também, tá? então tem todo o parque instrumental. for the Quality Control Center of Federal University of Alphemus. The laboratory performs physical, chemical and microbiological analysis of raw materials, pharmaceutical formulations, purified water and drink water for companies. The results are issued in analytical reports and sent to the requesting companies. The Quality Control Center also has the resources and the structure to perform analysis of pharmaceutical equivalents which are currently required by Brazilian National Health Surveillance Agency to register genetic and similar medicines. Olá, eu sou o coordenador do Laboratório de Pesquisa em Química Farmacêutica aqui da Faculdade de Ciências Farmacêuticas da Universidade Federal de Alfenas. Os projetos de pesquisa desenvolvidos nesse laboratório estão relacionados ao planejamento e síntese de substâncias orgânicas bioativas. No contexto da colaboração com a professora Flávia Shiva, o nosso interesse é a modificação de polímeros de interesse farmacêutico para a incorporação em sistemas especiais de liberação de fármacos. My research group studies different aspects of tumor cell biology, such as signaling pathways related to cell cycle control and apoptosis. We work 
on vaccination of mice using nanoparticles of BSA providing zero albumin against dengue virus, Zika virus and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Also, we work on immunotherapy against leishmanizes using an part of ketosan and using the hamster oil. nós avaliamos diversos recursos farmacológicos e não farmacológicos envolvidos no controle da dor. Essa, essa primeira sala aqui é a sala de criar armazenamento, onde nós armazenamos alguns tecidos coletados de animais, principalmente em freezer menos 80, para posterior análise biomolecular, também entre modelos de dor, dor cirúrgica, é, dor pós-cirúrgica, dor inflamatória, dor neuropática, dor oncológica, dor produzida pela osteoartrite, entre outras. Então aqui os animais são operados, temos também outro sistema de anestesia para que eles possam se operar de uma maneira é, mais eficiente. Essa outra sala, sala de análise de comportamento, é onde nós avaliamos o efeito de diferentes fármacos, substâncias e é, intervenções não farmacológicas no limiar de dor dos animais. Então esse equipamento avalia o limiar térmico, vai avaliar se uma substância diminui ou não a sensibilidade dolorosa do animal ao estímulo térmico. Esse outro equipamento avalia o limiar não receptivo ao estímulo térmico. Aparelho, que é com freio eletrônico, que também estimulamos a pata do animal para avaliar o efeito de diferentes drogas e substâncias analgésicas. Essa sala é onde são realizados os ensaios biomoleculares. Então a gente tem a avaliação de Western Blot, com, com recurso de última geração para transferência de membrana em 7 minutos. Temos o Kevdoc, que é um recurso de revelação de, das bandas proteicas, é também um recurso bem avançado, muito prático de ser utilizado. Temos uma câmara de anestesia para realizar cirurgia dos animais de, de uma maneira que eles possam ficar sedados e que possam recuperar dessa cirurgia bem rapidamente. Temos também outros recursos que nós utilizamos para as análises biomoleculares, que além da análise do Western Blot para avaliar a expressão de proteínas, nós também avaliamos quantificação e colocalização de, de algumas proteínas através de imunofluorescência. My name is Eduardo Figueiredo, and I am the research coordinator at the Federal University of Alfenas. I would like to emphasize that the Federal University of Alfenas is open to the establishment of agreements with companies and uh, researcher research centers in order to improve the quality of our projects. 
the innovation agency responsible for the management of intellectual property, technology transfer and entrepreneurship action at NIFAL, giving support for partnership between entity of technology, science and innovation. The UNIFAL MG has been a made great, great effort for its internationalization and we have several agreements with international institutions and many and many students and professors are participating in international mobility programs. And now we are working to expand our institutional internationalization, exploring new partnership opportunities with worldwide science and technology entities. The post-graduation program in pharmaceutical sciences provides infrastructure and prepares the students to work in first-line research projects. Nowadays, we have four main areas of research in our program. The first one is toxicology and toxicological analysis. The second one is biological activity of interest compounds. The third line studies obtention and evaluation of natural and synthetic products. And the fourth line studies development and evaluation of medicines and drugs. All four areas have researches that are outstanding in their areas and the program is rising their concept in Brazil and outside Brazil. We are located close to the main center on research of the country and we are looking forward to expanding our networking and develop research projects that will really change people's lives. We would like to thank all professors and students that have contributed to the interviews and recordings and thank you for your attention. Goodbye!